porcelain part. Did yours die? Yeah, we don't have to wait and get a message. Little stencil marks like that. So you've got yeah. these little things starting to create. And then let's use yeah. our ink. It's a gorgeous coloured ink. Um, what else have I got there? Um, oil crayons. Yeah, we'll use those. We're going to be that. Um, Watercolour sticks, doilies, uh, sponges we could use. Yeah, we could get a mark from that. Mm -hmm. Now, my big fat brush, I had it here a minute ago. I'm sorry, sorry. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So let's see what happens when I now start putting. I might just colour yeah. that corner in there. where we can create a negative space so there's one for instance just here so I might just do I don't know a little a little squiggly wiggle or something of, yeah. might not be anything in particular but you can also what we we're doing last week was learning how we can create use your crayons and draw into a wet surface so it might be something like that. So I'm just playing, okay? I'm making some marks and I'm just sort of seeing, you know, the effects that I can get. Because it's the way you think, you know, the thinking process of putting it all together. You don't, none of her, she doesn't know what she's doing, okay? It's, it's, it's just sort of creating from something. So all I'm using here is line marking. And you know that one there is. So you've got you've got this lovely little study. Now see in here, um, there's a little negative shape pattern. Now the complement of that is probably more the red. So if I colour, actually I'll use a dark. Yeah, I could colour that in. I might find something there. I might decide to just do some stripes in here. So I'm having fun with all going back and reusing all the little shits. This person just rang on the mobile. Yeah, probably. It'll be family members. You know. Yeah. Good morning, Patrick. Uh, Lisa, is it? Hang on. Um, do I, Lisa? Shall I? Uh, Could you just take a message? I'll call yeah. it back. Yeah. So see, I'm just playing around with that and mm. seeing the effects I can get. And one of the things I suggested yesterday was under and over. So if you make a mark, She loves to just left school. Mm. Oh, I don't know where she is. She's she, she said work. Oh. She did say that. <laughs> so it's just fun seeing, you know, all these marks. But if I did under and over, I mean, these aren't as nice feeling. No. They don't have that lovely, soft, that you know, crumbling effect. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Your palette. Yeah. I was going to say, gee, you've done very well. <laughs> no, not there yet. So, starting there, oh, that's yeah. under and over. Oh. Another one is that. 
So when you do that, you then find you've got other little bits and pieces. Then there's glazing. So I don't know if that's dry, but I can put a glaze. You can pull things down. Mm. You know, when they're dry, you're going to get mm. different effects and things like that. So that's that's the practice one. I'll just grab another one of those. Just use this paper here. It's very good, isn't it? That's just getting used to mucking around and seeing what happens, okay?